I would like, first of all, to thank everybody for coming here tonight. The purpose of this presentation is to introduce you to the STG, uh, the Security Director Program, and to introduce you to four of the eight current STG Security Threat Groups that are in the Arizona Department of Corrections. My name is Sergeant Evans. I've been with the Arizona Department of Corrections for six years. I've been researching this information and, and really, really interested in this for the last three years. All the information I'm going to give you here today, you guys can go out and find off the internet and stuff. Also, you can go into the unit and talk to our SSU. Why is it important to you? Well, well most of you, a lot of you are new officers, but everybody's doing searches. Everybody inside the walls are dealing every single day with security threat group inmates. So what I hope to do is give you a tiny little glimmer of what we're looking for to help you with your job. All right, the first thing we're we'll talk about is security threat group. What is a security threat group? A security threat group is a gang. Nothing less, nothing more. They change the terminology to a nationally recognized term of the security threat group to take the word gang out of it because they're really technically not a gang. A street gang, you're jumped in and jumped out. A prison gang, it's blood in and blood out. That means you've got to shed blood for the gang to get in and you die to get out. Some of the other differences are bylaws, leadership. The Air Department of Arizona, the Department of Corrections in Arizona uses a validation process that assigns a point system to every single inmate who does certain things. Like you get a tattoo that's something like this. And I'll show you, we'll do some slides, I'll show you some more. Those tattoos are worth a set amount of points. You admit, hey, I'm part of the Aryan Brotherhood. I'm a skinhead. I'm New Eme, New Mexican Mafia. That gets you a certain amount of points. We go all the way through the process, and when an inmate gets 10 total points, then they are validated. Once they are validated, they are assigned to a security threat group and moved to the SSUs. We have several inmates that are just short of the validation process currently in our facility. The first security threat group we're going to talk about tonight is the Mexican Mafia. The Mexican Mafia started in the late 1960s in the California Department of Corrections in a direct response to the federal government telling the Department of Corrections of California you had to desegregate the prisons. Up to that point, prisons had been segregated. Mexican American inmates banded together to protect themselves from being preyed upon by other inmates. They named themselves the Mexican Mafia or MA. They chose as their design, obviously, the Mexican Eagle with the snake and the EME or MA. Mexican Mafia gained in power throughout the state of California and began spreading into the state of Arizona and into federal systems. Old MA can be identified, like I said before, by the EME. It can say Met Mafia, Mexicana, Mexican Mafia, or the MM with a skull and the bat wings on it. Now remember the MM, because you're going to see it again, Mexican Mafia. You're going to see the skull again. The difference is the bat wings. The last thing I'm going to tell you about the, the Mexican Mafia is they're dying out. There's probably less than 60 left in the state of Arizona. They've lost power to the new Mexican Mafia, which started in the late 1970s, broke away from the old Mexican Mafia in 1984, and started right here in little Florence, Arizona. The new Mexican Mafia broke away because they didn't want to follow the rules of the old Mexican Mafia. We currently have hundreds of New Mexican Mafia members in our Department of Corrections right now. We've had a split in New Mexican Mafia in our department. We have two factions now, MCSO and SMU. They're currently fighting it out. Mexican Mafia members can be recognized by the MM, the Rose, and the Skull. Remember from the uh, old MM? What you got right here is a nice piece of art. You see the Mexican symbol, the MM. It was made for Jaguar. It was an M8 and CD5 at, at the time this was confiscated. The skulls. Again, more Mexican Mafia art. New M8. And then this one is really neat because you have the whole sun, the MM, the rose, and the skull. You can only get the rose if you killed an old Mexican Mafia member. The M8 wearing his tattoos killed for the Mexican Mafia, for the M8. New M8. 
Last thing about them, they're continuing to grow. We're going to see more problems with the new Mexican mafia. It's not over. Um, and they're going to be one of our biggest Mexican American problems. Aryan Brotherhood um, is a Caucasian gang that we have in the department. They're called the Branch, started in California in the 1970s for the same reason that the Mexican Mafia started. They're uh, white supremacist Nazi symbols. You've seen this inmate before. I can't tell you who he is, but you've seen him before. These tattoos clearly show that they're AB. This is a neat one. See that? That's the only thing up there that gave it away. And then, of course, the shamrock, three leaf clover, six humps. It's Aryan Brotherhood. The last one we're going to talk about are the skinheads. Everybody's heard of the skinheads. We have a lot of them. They spread out all throughout Arizona. What they are is young white supremacists. They come into the prison system. They do a lot of work for the Aryan Brotherhood. One of the neat things about them is you'll see the number 14. 14 stands for the 14 words that they live by. We must secure the existence of our people and the future of white children. Everybody understand that? You're also going to see an A in the term ADA. Nazi symbols, SS symbols, the cross that you've seen tattooed on the back of several of the guys' heads. 14 and 88. 88, 8 letter of the alphabet being H, 88 being Heil Hitler. This is, ends the slideshow. Again, the information I've given you is just a touch of, of a lot more information. Get with me or get with SSU and they'll tell you more about the STD program or go online and research it yourself. It's very, very important when you're doing your searches, when you're doing your job out there, that you recognize this material for what it is and bring it to SSU's attention. Thank you very much for your time.